Welcome to Quick Aircraft Facts. Our mission is to teach those interested about aircraft in three minutes or less. Primarily used by the United States Marine Corps, this aircraft was introduced into service in 1986 after Congress denied the Marine Corps funding to buy the AH-64 Apache. The AH-1W, or Whiskey Cobra, has a crew of two, one pilot and one gunner. She's 58 feet long, has a 10-foot stub wingspan, and is 13 feet 9 inches tall with a 48-foot rotor diameter. The AH-1W Super Cobra's beginnings go all the way back to Vietnam with the introduction of the Bell AH-1 Cobra, a twin-blade, single-engine attack helicopter that had become a mainstay with the U.S. Army's attack chopper fleet. It was replaced later on by the AH-64 Apache. The AH-1 has other nicknames as well. It's been called the Huey Cobra because the engines, rotors, and transmission were proven designs used by the UH-1 Huey. It was also called the Snake, and it caught the attention of the United States Marine Corps. Even though the Marines liked what they saw, the Cobra's single engine and turret systems needed to be adjusted. So another engine was added to improve safety for sea operations, and the turret upgraded to feature the three-barrel 20mm XM-97 cannon. The new adjustments led to the creation of the AH-1J, which was introduced in 1971. Further upgrades to the AH-1J led to the T variant, which has a longer tail boom, fuselage, new systems, and tow anti-tank missiles. Roughly nine years later, the Marine Corps was looking for a new helicopter to use. However, in 1981, Congress denied the Marine Corps funding to purchase the AH-64 Apache, so the Marines investigated changes that could be made to the AH-1T. The changes included systems upgrades and the ability to use sidewinders and Hellfire missiles. Congress approved these changes, and the AH-1W Super Cobra was introduced in 1986. The AH-1W has seen its fair share of action, from Desert Storm to Operation Iraqi Freedom. Two of them were even part of the 1995 rescue of Scott O'Grady, who was shot down. The movie Behind Enemy Lines was loosely based on this event. Even though the Marine Corps was denied the use of the Apache, they've certainly held fast to the motto of improvise, adapt, and overcome. Thank you for watching this video. Please join us next time on Quick Aircraft Facts.